We're going to begin this section by talking about how to multiply decimals by powers of 10. Now remember, powers of 10 are just numbers that are a 1 followed by any number of zeros. So uh, let me give the rule that we follow, and then we'll talk about why that makes sense, why that's the thing to do when you multiply by a power of 10. So to multiply a decimal by a power of 10, move the decimal point to the right the same number of places as there are zeros in the power of 10. Okay. So, uh, so let's show what this means, what this rule means for us in this first example, and then we'll talk more about why that makes sense. So if I have 5.78 times 100, what this is saying is that since there are two zeros in 100, I'm just going to take the decimal point and move it two places to the right in 5.78. So 5.78 becomes 578. All right, so why does this rule make sense? Well, we already talked about, back in chapter 1, what happens when I multiply something like, um, yeah, let's do 15 you know, by a power of 10. And so let's multiply 15 by 1,000. Remember our strategy here was we said, all right, pretend like the zeros aren't even there. Just take 15 times 1, which is 15, and then add three zeros. And we kind of discussed why it is that that uh, trick works. Well, understand what we were really doing. Even though we said just add three zeros, when you add three zeros, what you're really doing is moving the decimal point to the right three places. That's really what it means to add zeros. So the only difference now is that our decimal point is starting further to the left in the number. It's not just at the end like it is here in 15. But the same rule applies. So we're really just multiplying the decimal, or sorry, moving the decimal to the right when we multiply by a power of 10. So let's take a look at this next example. Let's remember what 10 to the 5th means. This, it's, I know it's been a while, but we have talked about 10 raised to a power. This literally means 1 followed by 5 zeros. one followed by five zeros um, is what 10 to the fifth means. So 10 raised to any power, it's just telling you one followed by the number of zeros that equals that power. So what that means is I need to take 0 0.345 and I need the decimal point to move five spaces to the right. So I'll start counting one, two, three, but notice I've run out of space here. But we go ahead and keep going. So I jump this empty space there for 4 and jump another empty space there for 5. And so whenever you jump an empty space, um, when you're moving a decimal, of course, we put a 0 in there. So we end up with 34,500. Okay. Now here's one where we have two powers of 10 multiplied together and then um, then multiplied by this 0 0.00579. Well understand there are two zeros here and there are four zeros here. So all that means is we are going to move the decimal to the right a total of six places because there are a total of six zeros in those powers of 10. So we write out our number here first of all. And we go one, two, three, four, five. We need to go one more. That's six. And so we better add a zero. Of course, all the zeros that are back here um, we don't include. So the answer is five thousand seven hundred ninety. Okay. 